Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Todd Johnson. We're here today because basically I screwed up. Several months ago we decided to, to move into a different house and uh, during our transition period from selling one house to buying another one, I stored all my firearms in an area that apparently had high moisture. And so I was not expecting to stay there long. I did not take the added precaution of applying oil to all the guns. They've been in storage for a while in my gun cabinet, never had any issues. But in the short time that they were in that area, I got a lot, I got a lot of surface rust on my firearms. So um, just a quick look at a few of them here. You can see on the barrel, I got an old Steven single shot here. You can definitely see uh, some surface rust on the barrel of that gun. We got a little 22 rifle you can see on the, uh, on the receiver as well as uh, the barrel. I screwed up. So uh, basically this is gonna be video one of a series where I attempt to get the rust off of my firearms and get them back in a nice shape where they look good. Um, functionality aside, you know, they still work great. Nothing there is changing that, but I'm kind of OCD about that as far as how my stuff looks and I should have been more OCD about how I cared for it. So big mistake on my part, I take the blame for that. But we're not actually gonna start with these rifles today. Um, we're actually gonna start with this. And so this is a little Heritage 22 Rough Rider with a 22 mag cylinder in it. And you can see, uh, you can see here that it had got a lot of surface rust on the barrel of it as well as on the cylinder itself. So what we're gonna be using in this video series we're gonna be using some Chorboy Pure Copper Scrubbers. We're also gonna be using some brass uh, brushes. So this is just a three pack of brass brushes that I picked up. In the video we're gonna to do today, we're gonna to be using some Hops Lubricating Oil. Everything that I've read suggests using all different kinds of oils. People are using WD-40, people are using three-in-one oil, people are using uh, oils just for the purpose of you know, getting the rust off a of firearm. So I thought what I would do as part of this video series, we will look at different oil agents, we'll look at different products so we can find out and report back to you on what works the best. So stay tuned in this video if you wanna see how this heritage turns out. If you think you wanna see these other videos when I start working through each other rifle, it'll be a completely separate video on all my firearms. Please smash that subscribe button. I need all the subscribers I can get. Like it, comment it, it helps the algorithm, helps bump my videos to the top where you can find me when you're looking for it. So stay tuned, hope you enjoy the video. And we're gonna start um, by removing the cylinder. So for that, uh, half cock position or quarter cock position, open the gate. Um, on the reverse side, you have a spring here. When you depress that, pull the pin from the cylinder and then you're gonna remove your cylinder from the gun. We'll get started on the barrel first. We're gonna take a little bit of our oil here.
Well, <clears throat> I think as far as rust is concerned, um, the 22 mag cylinder at this point is pretty rust free on the outside. What is, uh, what is still visible in some places, obviously the bluing is gone. Um, I think we're going to re-blue it, but uh, there is some pitting. Uh, and predominantly here, here, and then there was one other place right over here along the edge that is the worst. But um, yeah, so using the, uh, the pure copper sponge and the brass brush with the hops lubricating oil, um, this is about as far as we can go with this piece. So uh, we may come back to this one later try and try something else on it, but for now, I think that's about as good as we're gonna get with it. I'm still not very satisfied with our, uh, with our barrel here. Um, I, honestly, I don't, it, it does feel a little bit textured uh, when you rub your hand over it, but I'll tell you what, you be the judge. Do you think hops number nine with the copper and brass cleaning tools uh, is a viable option for cleaning up your firearms. If you'd like to see videos using other components or even revisiting this one, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, this will be part of a series. So uh, if you wanna be a part of that, hit that like button, comment, click subscribe. Let me know what you think about this method. What did I do wrong? What should I have done instead? But for now, we'll let you go and we'll see you next time right here on the J-Line.